Hey guys, before I start the video, I'd just like to say that we have a new merch store with some nice clothing lines that come out and a bunch of sizes, different kinds of shirts and colors. If you're interested, go check it out. They're only available for a limited time, so definitely get them while you can if you are interested. All right, now to your video. Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to a pretty easy, simple, and basic, but useful tutorial. Today, we're going over how to create a pen health bar system and what do I mean by that I mean let's say you're fighting a boss in your game and you want to display a health bar above their heads but you can't you know for example you don't want to have it just be a variable because it doesn't look good enough so you want it to ha be like a visual bar that goes down and changes colors as their health gets progressively lower how do you do that well that's what I'm here to show you today so I'm going to start by naming this project health bar or we'll call it pen health bar I guess pen health bar tutorial and if this pen health bar tutorial does not help you or it's not quite what you're looking for a little too complex maybe i will be making a separate video alongside this one where we cover a costume based pen or a costume based health bar so if that's more like it uh, check on the channel it may be up it may not be i'm planning on posting that video tomorrow so keep that in mind so now what we're going to do we are going to put this all into one sprite. So you can start by deleting the cat. Yes. And we'll create a new one. And we'll just call this... We'll just call this the health bar. We'll call it health bar. Okay, we don't need to give it any kind of sprite. We're just going to start off by coming down here. Clicking on the add extensions. And click on pen so we can get this pen tab. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to start by clicking the green flag. I'll zoom in so you can see. We're going to make a variable. I'm just going to rename this for this one. Call it HP. Okay. So when you receive that, well, we will show your health. We'll show your health. So after we show our health, we're going to actually want to begin, you know, running the code. So what we're going to do is, again, you can change this green flag to wherever you need the health bar to appear. I'm just doing this since I'm only showing the health bar. So... We will show our variable HP, and we will set our HP to 100, as 100 being our max, as high as it can go. We'll come to our events tab, and we'll grab a broadcast. We'll make a new message, and call it health. Now we'll grab a forever loop and put it underneath this broadcast, and come into controls and grab an if-then statement and put it inside. Now inside, we'll go to operators and grab an or statement and put it right there. We will grab a greater than sign, come to variables, grab HP, put it in the first bubble, make a new variable, call it last HP, put last HP in the second bubble. Now we will duplicate this little bit that we just made and put it in the second half of the or statement and change it to a less than symbol. So we have a greater than symbol and a less than symbol. If that's the case, we'll come to our events and put broadcast health inside. Now we're going to set up the color system of what color the pen will be, depending on how low it is. We'll grab a new if statement and put it underneath the last one we created. We will grab this health bubble, the greater than health bubble, and take out last HP and set this to 80. You can fumble around with these numbers right here as much as you want. This is just how low the health is before the color changes. We'll come to our pen tab and set the pen color to a green. That's what I like to do. I'll set it to a nice green when our health is high. Now we'll duplicate what we just made and put it underneath. Now we will do a less than. If health is less than 50, if it's less than halfway, I'll set the health to a yellow or maybe a darker yellow. I know it's orange. I can't see orange though, so it may be a little incorrect. I'm a little color deficient. Now we'll do it again. And we'll do if health is less than 20. We will set the pen color to a red. Now one more thing you can do. Is you can do if HP equals 0. This one isn't necessary. I just like to do it. Erase all. It will get rid of the health bar once your health equals 0. There we go. That's setting up the pen color and checking when to change. So now what does this health broadcast actually do well if we come to event and grab a when i receive it should already be on health but if it's not go ahead just find health we're going to make a new block and we're going to call it hp okay 
Great. Now, when you receive health, we will run the HP block. We'll come to variables. We will set our last HP to our HP. And now this is where we will decide where the health bar is going to go. So what I'll do is I have scratch add-ons which allows me to show where my mouse pointer is. Let's say I want the health bar right here. Okay, so our Y is 140, or, or 145. I want it about that high. So our X will stay zero, but I'll set my Y to 145 so that the health bar comes up here. If you want to mess around a little bit more, you definitely can. And there we go. Now I will define my HP. We'll come to our pen tab and we will set our pen size to whatever we'd like. I personally, oh, that's change, excuse me. Set pen size. I personally like it at a solid 20. Again, this can be easily changed though. We will erase all and then put the pen down. We'll come to our events, or sorry, not events, our control, and grab a repeat loop and put it underneath the pen down. Come to our operators, grab a multiplication symbol and put it in the first, or put it in the repeat loop, and then grab a division symbol and put it in the first bubble of the multiplication. Come to our variables, grab HP, and put it in the first bubble of the division. Put 10 into the second bubble of the division, and 2 into the second bubble of the multiplication. These numbers can be messed with if you so please. I just think 10 and 2 are a good balance. We'll come to motion, and grab a point in direction block, and we'll put it in the, in the loop. We'll point in direction 90 so that it constantly faces this way. We will then move 10 steps. Again, these numbers can be messed with. That's just personally what I like. So, if we run, you'll see that the uh, bubble instantly moves off to our side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this HP, we're going to right click it, and we're going to put slider. Just so that we can see, just so that we can adjust the health as we please, just for the sake of this tutorial. So, what we're also going to do is you might realize it's a bit wonky. If you right click on your define HP and click edit, make sure you check the run without screen refresh bubble, or box, I guess. Now when you play, you will see a health bar here. You'll see it changes, but you also see it goes off screen a little bit, which may be an issue. That's because right here is where we decided we wanted it to be. If we were to move the bubble around over here, around negative 113, let me try that. We'll do negative 112 just to balance it out a little bit more. Okay, and we adjust just a little bit. It's a little more centered. Let's try just negative 100. I like that. Now can we adjust my health bar a little bit? Or where my, I want my slider to actually go. And now you see that as we adjust our HP, our health bar goes down. After it goes underneath 70, the color will change. Oh, under 50, our color will change. And then under 20, it'll get changed to red. And when we get to zero, it'll disappear. There you go. This is a basic, uh, excuse me, basic health bar in Scratch. Again, if this pen one doesn't suit your needs and you'd prefer to have a sprite ba or costume based one, I will be making a video on that and it should be out tomorrow if everything goes to plan. If it's not, just wait. I'll post it eventually. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways because I like it. It's just a nice little simple cool looking tutorial that you can do. It's a lot of fun to mess around with and put in your games, especially for bosses and stuff. I really like it. While you're at it, want to subscribe to the channel if you join my counter, that helped me out a lot. Check out the socials, link in the description, and join Discord, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.